What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be comparing two different grip modules for the SIG P365s. Uh, one being a Wilson Combat Grip Module, and the other one being a Combat Armory Grip Module. And we're going to get into it. But before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, let me know your thoughts on these builds, because they're still in progress. I still have a lot to add to them. I'm adding a trigger to this, um, a threaded barrel, and a Tyrant Comp System, and a bunch of Tyrant parts to it it's gonna look absolutely awesome. And on top of that, you can use code SPN for 5% off all combat armory parts, like this base plate, like this grip module, stuff like that. Combat armory has all sorts of stuff for CZs, SIGs, awesome, awesome parts. They do a great job over there. Um, so I thought I'd help you guys out and get you a discount code so you guys can save some money. Now, my goal is to find, actually before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the P365, on these grip modules, what your setup is like, and also, if you want to support the channel, you can hit the super thanks button. It means a lot to me. Now, let's get into it. So this is a regular 9mm SIG P365, and what I just ordered is the Wilson Combat Grip Module. And the reason is, I like thicker handguns. Like you see right here, the Glock 26, this is my main carry. So I like the grip to be a little bit thicker. I'm like Hickok 45. I like a little bit more meat on my grip. Pause. Now, what I like about the Wilson Combat Grip Module is it's thicker, but it also has this awesome texturing in the back, and then awesome texturing where one of your finger goes, right? It has a great undercut, and it feels really good in the hand. Now, I also ordered from Combat Armory the matching um, base plate. And between the two, it fits your hand like a glove. And this thing is so tiny, so small. You have 10 plus 1, 11 rounds. Absolutely love this thing. It is great. I love the texturing. It feels overall really well. The other thing I added to it is a Tyrant Extended Mag Release. The Tyrant Extended Mag Release works like a charm. I like it better than the Wilson Combat one and the original SIG. It's just much easier to use, especially on these smaller firearms. And on top of that, it's stiffer, so it doesn't automatically eject your mag. Over here, we have the Combat Armory Grip Module, which we're going to get into. Now, the Wilson Combat has a couple things that I like, a couple things I don't. Like I said, I like the width, I like the texturing, I like the way it looks. I think this thing looks really, really sharp. I like the matching base plate a lot. I feel like it adds a lot to it, makes it so you have a perfect purchase on that firearm. The thing that I don't like about it so much is it does not have memory pads, um, and it is what it is. I like having memory pads on my firearms, one to help fight recoil, and two to help remind myself, keep my finger off the trigger, associate it with your brain muscle memory. But you can also do that with the rail. Now, overall, I'm going to be adding a silver combat army trigger to this thing, and it's going to look beautiful. And like I said, a tyrant comp. But so far, this is a great way to have a little small P365 that'll fit your hand a little bit better. The original P365 grip modules, I cannot use. They're way too tiny, way too skinny, and I'm not a fan of the texturing. This though, this Wilson Combat grip module, feels so good in the hand, feels natural, and yes, you're giving up a little bit of width, but not a lot, but it feels good in the hand, and it makes it much better to shoot. Over here, we have another awesome grip module. This is from Armory Craft, and what they did do is they did add memory pads, which is interesting. They added some stippling up here and over here. So you can fight a little bit of that recoil. You have a little bit of texturing, but you can also remind yourself, keep that finger off the trigger. Now, what I really like about this setup is this combination. This grip module not only looks absolutely stunning, right? You have all these different sizes of honeycombs, right? I mean, look how detailed that is. They did a great stipple job on it. But it also has pretty good... It's not as aggressive as the Wilson Combat, but it's still pretty aggressive um, texturing on the front and the back, but also none right here. But it has a deep undercut for that first finger. feels really good. But with that undercut, if you get the matching base plate from Combat Armory, which you can tell it has the same stippling, what I like about it is it doesn't add capacity, but between the two, it's a system. It locks these fingers in, and they're going nowhere. So you get a great feel on the firearm, and it feels so good. And knowing that these are smaller firearms, they're going to have a little bit more recoil to it. It's almost perfect. And it has a great grip angle. Feels really, really natural in the hand. The one thing I would say is I would like it to be a little bit wider. 
Um, it's not bad at all. It has plenty of texturing to deal with the thinness of it, but I wish it was just a little bit wider. Um, that's just personal preference, but the color is beautiful and you can get these in tons of different colors, tons of different stippling patterns. I mean, they have it all at Armory Craft. And once again, you can use code SPN to save yourself 5%. I know 5% is not much, but I'm trying to help you guys save some money so you can get some awesome builds like me because I'm all about promoting um, the Second Amendment and getting everyone a firearm that they love, enjoy, will train with, and will carry to defend ourselves and others. But it has a great beaver tail on it, just like the Wilson Combat. Check out the Wilson Combat um, beaver tail. It extends even further. Knowing that it's such a small firearm, they made sure that there's no way you will be getting slide bite. And I feel like with the Wilson Combat Grip Module, the length from back here to where that trigger is, is just perfect. You're not throwing shots, it just feels completely natural when you have that, your finger on that trigger. Now I am not a massive SIG fan, especially the polymer SIGs. I like the metal SIGs and hopefully I'll be getting a P3 or a P938 soon because that firearm is something I've always wanted for a long time, just never got my hands on them. But between these two right here, it, it's flip a coin. I love them both. I think they're both great grip modules. Um, honestly, I might like the Armory Craft one a little bit better just because of the overall texturing and with this base plate, it locks it in really well and it feels really comfortable in the hand and natural. Um, but like I said, you can't go wrong. The one thing I would change about the Wilson Combat other than the memory pads is the stippling on the side does nothing. It's almost non-existent and it almost feels a little slippery and weird. But like I said, I really like the added width. I really do like that. So this is where I'm at with my two SIG P365 builds. I got lots more to come. Like I said, a silver trigger for this. I'm going to get a silver threaded barrel. It's going to go with my T-Comp system um, from Tyrant um, Systems. I added my Tyrant uh, mag release. And I have a bunch of Tyrant parts I'm going to be throwing on this. So awesome, awesome things. Go check out Tyrant. Go check out um, Armory Craft. They make good quality products that don't affect um, reliability at all. And you can spruce up and really build up some awesome SIG P365s if that is your lane. And like I said, I'm on my road to creating a SIG P365 that I carry on the daily. Because I love them. They're great shooters. Um, I've just had some reliability issues in the past. Not a, the biggest fan of the rust issues. Not a biggest fan of the, um, all the corners they cut in certain areas and also the price for what you're getting um, they could be doing better their old firearms were built like tanks and were built to last I feel like the new P365s aren't necessarily built that way um, from a lot of things I've seen in person encountered myself and have heard from local gunsmiths and my personal gunsmith so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching